company. So when you actually interact very authentically, by the way, people kind of know who you are already and they give you some, they give you some a break. So we've done this kind of like read who they are, reach, reach out to them uh, often. We also would show up to meetups, Ben and myself. We'll just show up to meetups, meet with people. Uh, ben and I met in this amazing meetup in San Jose that we still stayed friends. I think like five people that we met in this meetup who became later uh, entrepreneurs and business partners of Hackster, like the CEO of Particle, uh, Zach Supala, who we met in that you know, uh, meetup and he became like a friend of ours and a great business partner. So we would show up, we will hack systems, we'll hack meetups, hack LinkedIn, hack press releases, uh, and talk to people. And I've noticed that in the beginning, a little depressing, um, it took up to 18 months of a sales cycle to get something out of somebody that they finally agreed to take a bet on us. Um, and another thing that I've noticed is this. So I've met another guy, again, no name, so it's privacy. Let's just say James. And I met James at another meetup in Seattle. And then uh, we stayed in touch. Eventually, James got a job at Intel. Uh, and he would tell people about us at Intel that he met this startup and we should probably work with them. And Intel said, yes, maybe we would, maybe we wouldn't. And then eventually, Intel took a bite and they actually did some work with us on this hackathon. It was really great. And then this fellow ended up in a meeting at Microsoft where Microsoft was debating which company like Hackster to work with, but they're leaning towards one of our competitors. And here's a guy who I met at a meetup who is working for another company for Intel, is telling people at Microsoft why they should pick us instead of the other partner. And I heard this from the Microsoft people. There was some guy who kept telling us that you have a better technology, a better vision, the team is actually going fast, it's gonna be better. And then we actually won the Microsoft business and ever since uh, it has been one of our most amazing partnerships to date. So understanding, uh, have patience, understand where to find your leads, again, through press releases, the right job titles. Um, don't go too high when you're young because they won't speak to you. Plus, I think VP types get spammed a lot and they're just really, uh, to become vice president of a big company, you have to have a lot of filters and focus. So, um, so think about the sweet spot of people that actually execute and are more open and can take more bets and have flexible budgets as well. Um, so that's what we've learned and that's how we established all these relationships. And um, another thing I just want to add that I remember I told Ben, my business partner, and I said to him, I said, you know, Ben, all these things that we're doing right now, you just have to trust it. that it's going to take months and months before anything's going to happen. And uh, one of the reasons we made it because we had a really good partnership. And he was like, I totally get it. And I remember we had this desert walk for six months before a single person said, yes, uh, it was actually Autodesk. They wrote us our first check for Nothing, it was like, I think $8,000 or something. That was our first uh, customer. And uh, they just took a bet on us, you know, and then Microsoft came and Intel came and everybody else. But it took us again, six months of trying and telling and sharing. Um, and it really worked out. 